Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are doing extremely well. And this is your very own mass code at this side. So today's question is print anagrams together. The problem is very simple. The problem says that you have an array of strings. Array of strings. As you can see, the first string is act, then god, cat, dog, tag. Right. Now you have to group anagrams. Group anagrams so first of all you need to understand what is anagram so anagram suppose you have two words s1 and s2 these two strings are anagram if they are formed by same letter composition letter composition what do i mean by that for example you have two words a b c and you have a word b a c now what is the composition so as you can see a b c can be converted into b a c without any insertion or deletion that is you will require exactly one a exactly one b and exactly one c to make b a c out of a b c right so you can say that s1 and s2 are anagrams but a b c and b a a are not anagrams because here are two a's you will require and here is only one a right so s1 and s2 if they are jumbled versions anagrams are jumbled versions jumbled versions of one another of one another so i hope you are clear with the word anagrams now you have to group anagrams for example in this particular array you can see act cat tag these three are anagrams so you will say my first group of strings is act cat tag and another group of strings is god dog so this will be your answer you will insert them into an array so first array is act cat tag god dog is the second array and these are the collection of arrays right you have to return this this is your answer right now how to solve this problem how to solve this problem actually very simple what will i do I will just solve the brute force first, right? Because that is our approach and that is the approach you have to show to your uh, interviewer also, right? So I have copied it down. Let me paste it in a blank space, right? This is my array. Now, what will I do? I will first, I'm for telling you the brute force approach. So brute, right? What will I do? I will make a visited array for sure first. Visited array, zero, 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 zero. Zero means they have not been grouped zero means this particular string has not been grouped now what will you do you will create an answer array suppose this is your answer at the beginning now you will traverse first word you act, have is act first word you have is act traverse the whole array afterwards that is for this i convert travel this j j will come here then here then here then here j comes here now check if act and god are anagrams or not now check if act and god are anagrams or not act god so checking if they are anagrams or not isn't another problem how can you check two methods again first thing is you can create a frequency map of both of them that is for a like you can create 26 length that a c t are there right so a b c up all up till z now one will correspond to a one will correspond to c one will correspond to one t also and here for G it will be 1, for O it will be 1, for D it will be 1. You can use um, um, fre uh, frequency vectors also for this or you can use a map as well. You can. It is your will, right? Frequency vector will use O of 26 and map will use O of N. Assuming N is the length of the string, right? Now check if frequency map or frequency map or frequency vector are exactly same. If they are, they are anagrams. Otherwise, this, comp this will take O of N time, right? I can give you a better time, not better, uh, but this is this is using O of n space also, right? I am giving you without space complexity. What I'm trying to do is I will just sort them. Act after sorting remains act, and God after sorting becomes dog, right? D oh, sorry D G O, right? After sorting it becomes D G O. Now tell me if the composition of two strings. I'm saying saying this S1 and S2 are anagrams, right? That is A, B, C and B, A, C. After sorting, it will remain A, B, C and it will change to A, B, C. Can I tell this will happen always if two strings are anagrams? If two strings are anagrams, the sorted version are same. 
if two strings are anagrams they are sorted versions are same are same this is the logic we are going through right so you will compare you will see act is not pairing up with god act is not pairing act is pairing up with cat so first group will contain act then cat then afterwards dog is not an answer tag is an anagram of it right sorting you will just compare and sort that is act you will compare act with cat after sorting you will compare act with tag after sorting something like that right as soon as you are getting into the group so add them that is their group now moving on ungrouped because zero is there it means this is ungrouped second group will comprise of god change it to one and now traverse the remaining ones which are not grouped which are not grouped one you will not check it for it dog you will check for it it is an anagram so add it mark visited not so it will come here and it will end all of them are visit, visited that means all of them are grouped and it is mentioned here so first group is act cat tag second group is god dog you can sort it for lexicographically sorted order right what is the time complexity so because you are traversing again and again and again and again time complexity of n square why let me explain you suppose you have an array like a b c d e f right you will create an array first 0000000 right now for this you will traverse all of them 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 right so it's something like for i going from 0 to n minus 1 and for j going from i plus 1 to n minus 1 nested loops right o of n square is a time complexity we know that right i will not try, try to uh, prove it because this is well proven and the proof is also very simple i will just give you an idea for i equal to 0 j goes from uh, 0 to n minus 1 that is n times for i equal to 1 j goes from j goes n minus 1 iterations for 2 it goes n minus 2 iterations for n it goes 0 uh, iteration so it is 0 plus 1 uh, plus 2 plus all up till n n that is equals to n into n plus 1 by 2 which is equals to o of n square by 2 plus n by 2 which is equals to big o of n right this is enough explanation for this particular thing because this is actually very simple this is the basics of time complexity calculation right o of n square i don't require that i require an optimized version so what will i do i will just do this the optimized version is actually more simple so optimized right i will say this is my answer array right this is my answer array i will not create a visited array this time right i will create a map i will create a map right now what will i do i will traverse the array right i will come to act i will come to act sorted work version of act is act only right so act will store act right i will come to god sorted version of god is dgo so dgo will store dog i will come to cat sorted version of cat is act again so act already exists so add it cat i will come to dog i will come to dog sorted version of dog is dgo dgo is already existing so sorry it was it was god here and it is dog here right sorry for my typing mistake guys sorry writing mistake tag again sorted version is cat so act act is already here so tag here right iteration finished now this map contains exactly two groups which we wanted traverse it and push it into the map so first iteration comes here push it so act cat tag this is the first group second group is god dog iteration of the map finishes your answer is ready and you can return it very simple right you don't need to waste your mind and time over here so what is the time complexity so because we are traversing o of n comes from here and because we are pushing into the map so log of n o of n log n is the time complexity and o of n is the space complexity right o of n is the space complexity it was o of n square earlier right we are better than that right 
So let us try to write the code down. So let us start by writing the code down. So vector of vector string answer, right? Now create a map, so unordered map of string paired with vector of string. Let us name it MP. Now for auto, let us go by simple iterations for int i equal to zero, i less than arr dot size i plus plus string s equals to arr i now sort it so sort s dot begin s dot end sort version we have now mp of s dot push back arr i this loop will create your map and now for auto it in map that is you are traversing the map answer dot push back it dot second right that is the vector of string part right after that return your answer let us try to compile and run it I hope it will work fine and will not it is working fine for the sample test case let us see for the submission as well working fine so thank you for watching hope you liked it and please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel thank you have a nice day